What's up, friends? Welcome to the Friendly Food Force channel. Got lots of food growing out back. We're going to take you around and show you what we've been up to. Been super busy with the Vintage Dolphin channel. If you like to check that out, see how we've been trying to make some money. But we're trying to keep everybody fed, nice and healthy. So let's go see what we've been up to so far. So it looks like this tree is still looking nice and healthy. I actually had to take out a couple trees and there might be a couple more going. But we're just celebrating our victories where we got them. So that one's looking nice and healthy. We'll keep an eye on it for sure. Right next door, stuff that's a little bit easier to take care of. Lettuce from seed and three rows of carrots. We're going to come through with the tool and weed right in the middle there. I would have liked to get to it already. We will have to go in by hand and pull some of that out. But real nice garden coming together there. Lots of onions next door. Went ahead and threw some broccoli in just out back. Maybe that can confuse the pest a little bit. Hopefully we got time. I know starting your broccoli too early in Michigan is tough. So went ahead and waited a little bit this year. So hopefully we have a little better luck. Planted something right here, but honestly can't remember right now. At the base of this little tree. We're keeping an eye on all our trees watching out for fire blight. It's been a bit of an issue. It does appear that the deer might have snuck through. And a couple prints here. But another nice onion garden. Debating whether or not we should stick some tomatoes in there. So maybe there's some spots where they didn't come up real good. So we're thinking about maybe plugging some of our tomatoes in. I can show you them on the porch. We're going to put them out next Thursday when it starts to cool down a little bit. Been very high temperatures, 85, 86. So I don't know about putting the plants out in such hot temperatures. But another nice onion garden. Got some cilantro. Always comes back from seed in the middle. This is one of our trees we're a little nervous about. We're looking for fire blight. And it's just a it's dark here, but I can't tell for sure if that's fire blight. Got some dark patches, kind of blotchy spots right there. So a little nervous about that one. And we have now cleared out most of the other trees around. So the food forest is a little less foresty. But we got some ideas. We're thinking about doing some pawpaw trees. And uh, maybe we're going to do some more research. Anything that's not affected by the blight. We're going to do some of that for a little while. Maybe we can get a hold of this little blight issue. And we'll feel a little more comfortable planting some of these out. So just down from there, we got our blueberries coming in full force. We're going to transplant some of these strawberries out of this mess. And I'm just going to go ahead and wood chip these. So we're starting to get our strawberries cleaned up over in zone two of the friendly food forest. So we'll have a nice place for them to go to. Five blueberry bushes here coming back, looking pretty healthy. And we'll sneak through and look at all these radish. This is the daikon down on this end. I think it was, I want to say cherry bell, but lots of little red ones here. Definitely going to be pulling some more of them out. Them are really tasty. I guess it goes year to year. I haven't been a big radish fan in the past, but them are really good. Maybe it's just because it's the first thing I was munching on. Looks like the potatoes are starting to come up out back. Definitely in that first row, really good. And in the second row, I see some green. Okay, we got some popping up out back too. So hopefully them continue to pop up, fill, fill in real good. We've only watered twice. Usually these wood chips will hold a nice amount of moisture. It's a really good way to do potatoes. Definitely add a little bit of nitrogen with this compost this year. So I think this is gonna be a really good mix. Really excited to see that just fill in and hopefully not see any wood chips pretty soon here. This, I don't know for sure if we're going to make it this year on killing off the grass for a big annual garden right here. But we're going to leave these down. Hopefully kill off all the grass in this whole area. Maybe even extend it down a little bit. 
and have a big annual garden right in the middle next year with a relatively small amount of work compared to rototilling all that up. So we like that idea. A little less to talk about over here. Fruit trees are down. We cleared all these out. We had one right here. And at one point, there was five trees in this line. So fire blight's been a major issue for us. So we're definitely learning as we go. But having lots of fun, lots of good healthy food going. We'll pop over to zone two, show you a little bit about what I was talking about over there. Well, that was fun getting the fire going, so I'm going to try to wrap this up. You can see that little line of plants, and we got another one coming down right there. That's all marigolds from seed. Too close, but I wanted to make sure they came in because when you scan back, that's going to say mom. So that's our mom garden for Mother's Day. Marigolds, that'll be a real nice treat as the year goes on. And we got our cucumbers from seed right in the front here you can't see them yet got some garden space starting to get ready for we had to uh, remove some of these wood chips make a little bit more of a raised bed we're going to start adding compost over the years and kind of backing off on the wood chips a little bit except for these pathways that i'm going to fill in yet not 100 percent sold on wood chip and everything i think it does do a good job of keeping the weeds back but with that said, it can also do, I think it slows down your plants that you want to grow as well. So you got to find that balance if you're going to use the wood chips. Strawberries coming in. Definitely got to pull some weeds over here. They go all the way around the peach tree. And this is area we'll move some of them transplants to. Peach tree is looking real nice and happy. I'd love to get some peaches this year. I don't know if that late freeze got us. And then over this way, other side of our faux pond, no water this time of year. We're also starting to build that bed up a little bit over this way. Got marigold seeds sprinkled all through here, and nice line all the way around the edge of both of them. And we'll fill that in with tomatoes. And we probably will add a little bit more compost to there and uh, give them roots a nice soft place to grow. Because we've had some pretty small tomatoes in the past, so we're learning as we go. We want to give them a little bit more soil, a little bit softer area to grow in. I think that clay just kind of locks them up and they can't really spread out very good. And if your roots don't grow, your plant don't grow. So that sounds simple, but sometimes it takes a little while to figure stuff like that out. So we're definitely improving a bit. Got the Stanley plum starting to get pretty high up into the sky. Probably the strongest, healthiest tree out here right now. Right next door, the old peach leaf curl came in and got our nectarine. I only sprayed once this winter, maybe twice, but it was kind of late. I think I did get twice, but it was kind of late. You want to spray three times and spread that out throughout your dormant season, around Thanksgiving, around Christmas, and uh, before your last freeze. So. We'll do a little better about that, but then we'll drop them leaves and hopefully come back nice and healthy for us. Also an apple tree over here. That could be the start of our first apple. I don't know. Hopefully them got pollinated, some of them. We haven't had any fruit off the trees yet, so it could be a big deal right there. Nice healthy looking tree. Again, get nervous when I see them dark spots. So if anybody knows, let me know. Do we got a fire blight issue going? I sure hope not, because as it sits right now, it's looking pretty nice. Right next door, got the chives going to flower. We could chop these down and freeze them, and, and we do a little bit, but I really like the look of them. They really hold their area, help keep the weeds back. You can munch on them early in the year. It's your first greens, and they just got these beautiful purple flowers. So I think we're going to keep spreading them around. Maybe one day we'll start selling some seeds out of the friendly food forest. That's the idea that keeps coming up. So maybe we'll just keep propagating for right now. Little clusters of garlic that we lost last year. But we got it nice and wood chip. Now this is somewhere where I really like to utilize the wood chips. 
So you can just kind of learn as you go and see your different uses. But if you lose that garlic in a bunch of weeds, it doesn't do you any good. So we're hoping this year we'll actually get to harvest it, keep that propagation theme going, spread it out, and have just a ton of garlic for next year. All right, if you like that, you're getting your food in the ground, like, subscribe, share. Get that friendly food forest going at your house. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next one.